Welcome back to the Algo Trading series using Pine Script from Market Secrets. In today's episode, we will cover how to access higher time frame price data in your custom Pine Script indicators. As always, this lesson or episode builds on the knowledge from the previous episodes. So, if anything doesn't make sense here, please go back through the other episodes where everything we are using up until now should be explained in detail. So, without further ado, let's get started so the core focus of this particular episode is to plot the higher time frame exponential moving average in our current chart so the first step here is always to get our script parameters or settings or inputs from the user so we need to use the settings to get user inputs so if you look at here we are having four inputs for this particular episode so first one is the time frame and the second one is the ema period length we would like to use the third one is whether or not to color the ema based on the price being above or below it and fourth is whether to smoothen the ema or not these settings will make more sense as we go so i won't spend more time explaining them the way we get the time frame input is using the input dot resolution type this line of code will prompt the user to choose their time frame from a drop down box in the settings menu by default this resolution variable is set to d which is shortcut for the daily time frame so the type of this time frame input would be a drop down if you look at here these are boolean and integers whereas this particular one is a resolution so this will automatically populate a drop down this will be populating a text box where you can input an integer and these two will be check boxes because these are all boolean so this is how the setting would look like for an user the three other inputs we have here are using the data types that we have discussed in the previous episodes so i won't go into the details about them so we need the ema as an integer and we need the color as a boolean and we need smooth settings as a boolean so let's plot this to the chart to understand how these parameters would look like for a user so if you look at here these color ema and smooth uh, parameters are check boxes so if you turn this on it will be true otherwise it will be considered as false and ema length will be an integer so they'll have it will have a text box where you can input uh, the values and whereas ema time frame will have a drop down and it will have the list of all possible time frames that we have in trading view so this is how we should be getting the user input the next step is to retrieve the ema value using the time frame input we have just defined that is this variable res to do this we need to first define our ema variable and then later we can input the ema variable into the security function to reference a higher time frame price data this probably sounds confusing but don't worry as usual with pine script it's extremely simple so this is how the code for it would look like in the first line here we are creating an ema variable using the closing price and the period length so this is a user input for example 50 which is the default setting for our input parameter name length so using this period and the closing price we are getting the ema using the built-in function and assigning it to a variable now if we plot this to our chart we will get the current 50 exponential moving average for whatever time frame we already have in our chart so if you already have a daily chart and if you just plot this ema you will just get the 50 moving average for this particular time frame but what we need is completely different we do not want this we want this ema variable to be calculated using the higher time frame closing price for example this is currently in a daily time frame so i may need an weekly time frames uh, you know exponential moving average in this particular chart if i need that i need to use the security function so in this particular security function i'm going to request the higher time frame data so the security function will take the several input parameters so let's talk about it one by one in detail so the first one is the input symbol so this is nothing but your symbol or instrument id since we just want to access the current instruments higher time frame we can use symbol info dot ticker id to get the current charts uh, data so now the second input which is resolution so 
the second input is nothing but your time frame resolution we want to reference to in this case res which is the time frame determined by the user in the user settings so in this case i'll be passing a weekly or daily or even a monthly time frame as an input so this particular line of code will automatically parse that value and get the ema for that particular user defined time frame the third input is what the price action data we want to request from the higher time frame in this case we want the ema variable to be calculated using the higher time frame data because the ema is using the closing price to calculate its value this means the security function will return the ema value based on the closing price from the time frame res and lastly when we are using the security function to calculate the higher time frame emi value we have two options we can work with in order to deal with gaps in the price so that is represented by the fourth parameter remember that if we are drawing the daily charts ema to our one hour chart it is not a smooth line by default the reason for this is that daily time frame ema is calculated based on the closing price of each day so if you trade an instrument that trades 8 12 or 24 hours per day such as crypto or forex then daily ema requires 24 hourly bars to close before the next ema calculation is made what this results in is a stepped appearance of the ema if we draw it through a lower time frame so let's look at this chart so in this chart currently we are in a daily time frame so i'm going to switch it to a 15 minute time frame and now i'm going to request for ema plotted using the daily candles okay so i'm removing this and i'm going to request for a daily time frame ema in this 15 minute chart okay so let's add to the chart once again so if you look at here this has a stepped appearance and if you don't want that you can just smoothen it so if we select a smooth option here this sma will smoothen and it will look like a smooth curve obviously this option looks much better in the aesthetic sense we are used to seeing moving averages smoothed out like this but the ema value plotted to the chart on each one hour bar is not really the daily ema but an approximate average because we are doing an average here by smoothening it it is essentially averaging the steps into a smooth line so depending on your trading style and preferences you may prefer drawing one style over the other which is why i have included the, the option to choose one or the other i hope that makes sense now comes the final input for the security which is look ahead so this is another boolean value if look ahead is set to true then the script will reference the current closing price on the live data and on historical data it will essentially cheat by drawing the days daily ema based on the days closing price which ordinarily we would not know until after the day had closed so by default look ahead is set to false so you technically don't need to set this parameter if you don't want to but it is always a good idea to declare the parameters yourself as a beginner so that you know what to do and what is set now alternatively if we set the look ahead to be turned on then the script will literally be looking ahead in time and time traveling to the future to reference the data from when that particular market's higher time frame already closed this means that the historical balls will cheat and know the future and currently the active bars will repaint so if you want to avoid the repainting then you need to set this to off so if we set the look ahead to the false then the lower time frame script will draw the previous day's closing price over the top of the current price action which makes a lot more sense if you want to trade using this particular information given the fact that yesterday's daily chart has cl already closed it's safe to reference the data in the historical price action whereas if our script is referencing the current day's daily closing price before it closes this can cause all kinds of trouble and give us the false reading and the accuracy of any strategies we try to backtest using this indicator so in this particular case we want to set this particular indicator to off this will also help with repainting but that's another topic now comes the last part which is nothing but plotting our higher time frame ema to the chart we have created two ema variables earlier one is smooth 
and the other one is step we do not want to draw both of these to the chart at the same time so we can use these two parameters and form a conditional operator so this is how a simple conditional operator would look like so if we have selected smooth in this particular user input right so if you have enabled the checkbox it will automatically choose ema smooth and if we haven't selected it will go for the step option so that's what is happening right so if you have selected smooth it is happening smoothly i mean it is plotting the smooth uh, ema and if you haven't selected it it will automatically plot the step so that is how the plotting will happen and the, this conditional operator will help you to achieve that likewise we have also included an option to color the ema based on whether the price is above or below it this can be achieved using two conditional operators so if you look at here i have used two conditional operators here so what this indicates is if we set the color option to be true then if the current closing price is above the ema step value then set this graph to green color or otherwise set it to red color and if the color option is set to false then ignore all the price action and set the entire chart color to black so now i have selected the color option here so it is plotting a red line and a green line so based on where the candle is so if the ema is above the candle then it is plotted in red and if the ema is below the candle then it is plotted in green and if you deselect this option i mean if you remove this option it will all be plotted in one single color which is black and the last few options are something that you are already familiar with we are setting the line style and line width to 2 and we are titling this particular drawing as ema htf so that our users can change this uh, style settings in the option menu in the chart so ehtf ema will be displayed here and uh, like i mentioned earlier you will have all these uh, options uh, to be selected from the user interface itself and that's it we are done we have come to end of today's episode so in this episode we have learned how to plot a higher time frames data in a lower time frames chart so this will be very very critical if you are an intraday trader because a lot of traders use this particular information so with that note i'm closing today's session if you have any comments feedback or improvements about this episode please leave it down in the comment section we'll be happy to answer and address it also check out our website www.marketsecrets.in for various data feeds learnings and pre-learning series and if you have any queries on anything in general you can reach out to us anytime through whatsapp or telegram our contact details are available in our website hit the like button if you like this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful because that will motivate us to deliver more for you and lastly subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye